I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Bill Ottman, the CEO and co founder of Minds. Bill, welcome to the show and thanks for taking the time to be here. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Let's dive right into it. I'd love to start with just an overview and the focus of Minds and what are the problems that your team is solving for right now? Yeah, so Minds, Minds.com, or on mobile, uh, is an open source crypto social network. Everything's fully transparent, very privacy focused, not requiring any personal information, certainly not surveilling uh, in order to target ads like every major social network. Um, we also are hyper focused on monetization for creators, both in crypto and fiat. So we have all of these different earnings mechanisms. And yeah, I mean, for us, it's all about transparency. I mean, everybody's reach is mm -hmm. getting strangled on the big tech sites. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how many followers you are, you're probably only reaching a couple percent of your own followers. No one knows what the algorithms are doing. Uh, no one knows why, you know, crypto channels are getting banned, different types of speech are getting banned. And, you know, it just seems like they're doing everything backwards. So we're trying mm -hmm. to switch that. We're also decentralizing as much as we can. So, yeah. That's great. Not easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, especially when you're facing up against some of the biggest companies in the world you know, and they have these huge network effect. And but I understand where you're coming from, where it's, you know, a lot of people don't like the platform, but we're, we're stuck on that right now because people just don't have alternatives like mines. And that's why I'm glad that you're building it. Um, and it is a, an uphill battle to try and build the next social platform that the whole world is going to use. It sounds like you are on the right track. Maybe you can talk about, you know, when you started building Minds, what, what did you see as creating it as a unique platform and building a competitive, competitive advantage so that you could become one of the large social platforms? So one of the unique features that we have is this whole reward system for the engagement you receive and your contribution to the network. And we really built that partially in reaction to the strangling organic reach on major networks. Mm -hmm. And so, so we actually launched a digital currency before moving to Ethereum, which was just a, a point system. And you would earn these points for various activities. And then one point was equal to one view. So you could boost your posts with mm -hmm. points that you earned and get more views on your content because that's what creators are really trying to get. And you know, when you put in all this hard work and they just take away your audience from you, I mean, mm -hmm. that is really, you know, to us, highly unethical. So now that we migrated to Ethereum, move the point system. Uh, so, but now it's one token equals a thousand views. Mm. So you earn the tokens, and then you can click the boost button on your post and one token will get you a thousand views. Mm. That is by far one of our most popular features because even though so we've got like four million users but the fact that facebook or whoever have billions of users it's sort of irrelevant unless you can reach your own fans i mean it's mm -hmm. like if you're in a crowd of people and no one can hear you mm -hmm. what's the point i would rather be in a community where people can actually see what i'm saying definitely and i completely agree and it seems you know, like on Facebook and these, the bigger that it gets, it seems you're getting less than 10% or 5% of even a reach without having to pay the big man to, to have your voice heard, right? So I think that the focus on organic engagement is the right way to go, especially even if you just have millions of users, as long as you can reach them all, you're probably reaching more people than you would, um, at least without having to pay, but you do have that uh, f creator function, which is a great add-on. Um, do you, you know, as it continues to grow, it seems that these social platforms, they start implementing some of that ad retargeting or ad focused where if you want to pay more, you can reach more. And is that something that you're looking at preventing happening with Minds so that it doesn't turn into Facebook and these other platforms? I mean, we're not against promotion or, or even necessarily paying for promotion. It's more so surveillance based promotion, mm -hmm. which to us is the unethical part of things. I, I, you know, if people want to, um, you know, get tokens uh, and boost with them and, you know, put revenue into the ecosystem, like that's a plus. We're not 
against advertising. We're not going to limit your news feed to, you know, force feed ads in there. Like you'll always have your pure chronological news feed. You know, every 20 posts or so you might see a boost unless you want to, uh, you can turn that off if your mind's plus. I should also mention, so mine's plus is our, um, that's where most of our revenue comes from mm-hmm. five bucks a month, mm. but it's pretty cool because we do a rev share with it where by subscribing to mine's plus, you get access to this exclusive feed of content from everybody who's in mine's plus. And if you post into mine's plus, then you get a share of our revenue. So we take 25% of our mine's plus revenue and this is in fiat, mm-hmm. um, or crypto actually, depending on how you pay for Minds Plus is how you get uh, paid out. Okay. But the analogy I make is imagine if you could submit a film to Netflix mm-hmm. and if it performed well at the end of the month, they would give you a payout. So that's been immensely popular as well. So yeah, I mean, and just to, uh, I'll bring in kind of this new ad system that we have, which we're calling ad mining. Mm-hmm. Or basically, if you provide liquidity into the Minds ETH pair, you get, I, I won't call it free, but like close to free advertising. So based on your percentage share of the liquidity pool, you get that percentage rotation in this fixed spot that we have on the side of the news feed. And, you know, if you pull out your liquidity, you know, you get all your, you get all your tokens back and you also get token rewards for providing liquidity, but we really wanted to bring in something with, you know, true tangible value for providing liquidity, you know, a lot, and you know, I'm not trying to, um, to, you know, denigrate any liquidity mining project necessarily, but I think there is a lot of kind of nonsense out there where you're just sort of like mining for the sake of mining for the sake Mm -hmm. of mining. Like there's not like intrinsic value to it. So, and, and we're giving this sort of guaranteed, impression value for providing liquidity on top of the token rewards. Definitely. And I'm, I really like what you mentioned there just prior to that about Minds Plus. You know, I've, I've heard so many people talk about, hey, why couldn't I just pay five bucks to the social platform and, and be able to turn off advertisements or be able to you know, have more control over my data? And it seems like the large companies don't want to do that because they make more when, you know, by using your information rather than actually you paying directly. So it's interesting that that's actually one of your top revenue sources right now. Yeah, for sure. I think sustainable recurring revenue, we're all learning that, you know, whether you're an individual content creator or a company, that that's what's sustainable. Mm -hmm. Having a paying uh, recurring user base, that's why all of these uh, crowdfunding platforms have really taken off. Definitely. And just to touch on your ad mining strategy, I think it's genius to be able to build into the decentralized finance network, have liquidity pools so that you can get access to you know, advertisements and all these other benefits on the platform. Um, at the same time, I'm curious, you know, it seems like a balance because there will be a lot of people and obviously when you're starting up uh, as a tech startup and integrating crypto uh, integrations into the platform, you're going to have more crypto focused people. Uh, but it also is a little bit more technically advanced to do liquidity mining uh, for people that are just getting into crypto or for people that are just looking for social media platforms that you know have data sovereignty, but they're not necessarily into the technical it- aspects of crypto. Do you see a balancing act between you know having the usability of the platform and being able to provide rewards through you know cryptographic and technical ways? Yeah, that's a really really good point. So our reward system is broken into three buckets. You've got engagement rewards where you earn tokens for just uh, getting comments and shares and subscribers and just normal social media things that, you know, everyone would love to earn for, which is easy for anyone to figure out. It's, you know, and, and that, that reward is actually uh, multiplied depending on uh, how much you contribute to the network. So Mm -hmm. the, the more active you are, the more of a multiplier that you get. And the other two buckets for rewards are holding rewards just for holding tokens in your on-chain uh, wallet, whichever, you know, Web3 wallet. And then there's the liquidity rewards. Now, you know, the latter two are a little bit more technically challenging, but I think that the Web3 UX is really coming a long way. Like we did a huge integration with Wallet Connect and Web3 modal so that, you know, when you try to do it, the prompt comes up, like, do you want to use 
MetaMask or Coinbase mm-hmm. wallet or whichever, you know, that's sort of becoming a standard when you're on any Web3 site. And, it, you know, yeah, you have to set up a wallet, but I think that that's a, it's not that hard. It's getting easier mm-hmm. and it's a worthy learning curve to really take control of your of your digital assets. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's in the user's interest and it's really not that hard. And now that we're seeing Bitcoin and, you know, the whole crypto universe explode so much, it's becoming more and more relevant to everybody. Hundreds of millions of more people are, are getting involved in the space. And I think that if you, if you ask someone, you know, who's like a regular Instagram user mm-hmm. and you said, Hey, listen, um, here's your two options. You could pay dollars, promote a post, or you could provide liquidity, basically get free passive advertising. There's a couple of you know things you have to install and you have to you know learn a little bit about how to you know use Uniswap, which takes like five minutes realistically. Yeah. Um, and but then you're basically getting free promo. As in, so it seems like that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah, I think on the business side, the people that understand, hey, we need to save money. If it takes a few steps, um, you know, then it's worth it. Right? Well, it's been interesting because we have uh, already had people approach us because, you know, when you're on our news feed, there's a, you'll see this little block and it says want to be promoted here. Hmm. And then you hover over and it explains like you have to provide liquidity and then you click it and just the Uniswap liquidity modal pops up. Um, and we've had totally non-crypto people say, I want to get here. Like, show me mm-hmm. how to get in. And you know, they out in 10 minutes. It's new, but it's also a good deal. So I think people are, are willing to be educated. I feel like that's part of our role. And I think social media is a great place to help bring crypto to more people. So, you know, if, if, if you tell people like, hey, listen, like, got to learn this app called MetaMask and super easy. <laughs> And you get value from it as opposed to getting value extracted from you. You know, it's going to take time, but we'll get there. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, part of this liquidity mining is through the decentralized finance niche part of this industry is, you know, to be able to do uh, borrowing, lending, asset collateralization, all these kind of other financial uh, products, which are capable once you have a liquidity pool, you know, not just for creating liquidity to be able to have a liquid token and to trade it around, um, is diving into that some of the next steps or something that you're considering on top of just building liquidity for the trading of mines? I'm totally open to investigating all of the above. For this initial incarnation, you know, it's pretty simple what we're doing. We you know, you have to verify your address through MetaMask or wherever to validate that like that address is yours and it's, it's associ- associated with those pool tokens on MetaMask. So we're basically taking the liquidity position endpoint on Uniswap and associating it with the address on mine so that we can, you know, understand your participation mm-hmm. in the pool on the, on the back end. And, but, you know, in terms of using those pool tokens in other creative ways, like, I'm totally open to it. I think it's just sort of one step at a time. Definitely, definitely. And just to give a little bit of perspective to see where, where you're at right now, I know that Minds has been around for a long time as a social platform and you've been growing, but you just implemented this, this DeFi strategy in right now. Is that right? Yeah, we've had the tokens for a couple of years, um, but you know, Uniswap, really, it's really just in like the last year that it's, it's exploded and it's an incredible tool and it just makes total sense for us to, to integrate with it. And yeah, I mean, the reward system, like I mentioned, has been by far one of our most popular features. And so now that we can really synergize with that whole world, like before we were sort of isolated in our own little world, but you know, having, the dynamic pricing and everything that comes from Uniswap is just way better for everybody. So people are loving it so far. (laughs) That's great. And I think it's a great step in the right direction towards getting to the next stage of growth. And I'm curious, in terms of the long-term vision of Minds, what do you think will want to be one of the key factors to success to get mainstream adoption? Right now, we're working on a, a huge integration with Matrix Protocol. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're a decentralized end-to-end encrypted 
messaging mm. protocol. And so we're really doing a major overhaul of our, of our messaging system, which I do think is absolutely essential for mainstream adoption. You know, messenger is really key when it comes to social networks. It's where people are spending most of their time and making sure that it's end to end encrypted is, is also key. So I think that that's a big deal. And yeah, I mean, UX does matter uh, for the thing is that the incentives, the, the integration of crypto and social is key because it, it allows you to bring this, this gamification and financial incentive to social media, which doesn't really exist on any major social network. Like you would think that one of them would have cracked that code so far, but what do you get for using Instagram? You yeah. all, all you, I mean, it's a night, it's a nicely designed app. Kudos to their designers. Like they're smart people, but the whole thing is just rotten from the mm -hmm. core and they're actually extracting value from you and giving you very little. So um, I think that within the next couple of years, the functionality on, you know, not just us, but other uh, crypto social alternatives, you know, we're, we're going to reach parity in terms of functionality and what people expect. And at that point, everybody's going to have to ask themselves, like, what, am, why, why am I not supplementing my experience with something that actually rewards me? And we're also, you know, investigating bringing in uh, NFTs so you can, you know, have your whole, you know, all, all the assets connected with your address, not just ERC 20s, but other types of ERC tokens. And, you know, we, we launched a, a major integration with Arweave, which is a decentralized content storage network uh, earlier this year. So you can optionally, when you make a post, uh, post to a, a decentralized content system, which is really important. So, you know, it's a, it's a balance of building things that give people more freedom and uh, rewards versus, you know, building kind of the standard features that people expect in a social network. But, you know, we don't want to spin our wheels because you can build things in a centralized way and then have to completely rebuild them in a centralized way. So it's sort of, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. There's a, there's a lot. And, but, but also the good news is that if, if you compare all the major social media apps, it's like, they're all the same thing now. They're yeah. pretty much, it's like, you got stories, you got a feed, you got messenger. Mm -hmm. Every Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, they're all, they all look the same. But to me, that's, that's fascinating because it's almost like there's this global social consensus happening around like the features that we expect in, in a platform. And if we can just add this whole monetization element on it, you know, mine feels quite similar to that though. You know, you have this wallet and it, you know, is tracking all your earnings and all this, uh, variety of ways so i hope that honestly more networks steal that idea and because you know for us it's really just about helping creators earn and and you know take their freedom back definitely i agree uh, and i'm looking forward to that day when there is that parity between the crypto social platforms that actually reward you and respect your information and, and privacy as well uh, to those large platforms so we are running out of time bill but for people that are looking to get involved with mines, use the platform, uh, try out the liquidity and the ad mining. What's the best way for them to learn more and to get involved? Yeah, check out minds.com slash token if, if you want to check out anything with regards to the rewards. Uh, and follow me, minds.com slash Ottman, O-T-T-M-A-N. Sounds great, Bill. I will leave all those links in the description box below for the viewers. All the best with Minds moving forward. Looking forward to the upcoming growth and let's follow up in the near future. Yeah, thanks for having me.